And tonight we want to tell you about an incredible underdog campaign coming from a community called Birchwood Village in the Northeast Metro. When voters there showed up to choose their next mayor, hundreds wrote in the name of their pick. WCCO's Alan Henry introduces us to the projected winner who wasn't even on the ballot. I believe all preliminary results show that um, I, I may have won. Margaret Ford is out of the state celebrating the birth of her granddaughter. But when she gets back to Birchwood Village, it seems she'll have a campaign victory to celebrate too. I am very excited uh, and um, grateful to the, all the people who helped and, and to the people who voted for me and are entrusting me to lead the community. It's kind of fitting for our little city, I think. Like, word of mouth is... Um, very prevalent here. Ford had considered running for mayor earlier this year, but potential health issues in her family kept her from throwing her hat in the ring. Um, those were resolved, thankfully, and so um, I, I, I was encouraged again, and I thought, well, let, let, let's do it. Seemingly against the odds, Ford launched a writing campaign against the two other candidates in late September, just weeks before Election Day. I know what the odds are. <laughs> Except it's 100% in this town. <laughs> a campaign backed by outgoing mayor Mary Wingfield. I don't see why any small town can't do this. I think on a bigger level, it's probably logistically hard. But when you know your neighbors and, and everybody can, you know, walk down the street and say, oh, yeah, I know your dog. I know where you live. Anything's possible. Now, the results will be officially canvassed here at Village Hall next Tuesday. And if she is indeed the winner, Margaret Ford will take over as mayor at the first council meeting in January. In Birchwood Village, Alan Henry, WCCO 4 News. Right now, the results show right in as the leading vote getter by nearly 20%. As Alan mentioned, Ford's expected to be confirmed as the right in winner on Tuesday.